Welcome back to Follow Me Friday, and we are here with the owner of Moose Mountain Coffee. Um, and we're just gonna ask her a few questions today about how they came about and why Abilene. So um, tell us a little bit about how you got to Abilene. Well, I'm born and raised here, <laughs> born and raised in Abilene. Uh, my husband, Ben, who owns a business with me, um, he's actually from Farmington, New Mexico. Um, he came here for college at ACU and stayed stayed and so um, <laughs> stayed so um, anyways we stayed in Texas we have two boys now we homeschool our kids our boys are 15 and 10 very much a part of the business um, and we actually started the business because of his love for coffee Ben his love for coffee and I mean love for coffee um, <laughs> would make it on the stove top in a skillet and then you know rigged his own um, out of a uh, Weber grill he like gutted the inside that's and he awesome. put a chicken rotisserie to where it would like <laughs> roast the beans. So we've really moved up. So now more we than have, a hobby, definitely. Yes, really yes, cool. it's definitely more than a hobby now. And so, um, and like I said, homeschooling our boys, you know, Ben thought this is a great idea for Business 101. And so we've owned other businesses and like entrepreneurship and wanted to teach that to the boys. All right, so you talked a little bit about how your family is involved in the entire business. What yeah. do they do day to day to help you be able to produce what you do? Yeah, so Ben is primarily the main roaster. Um, Jackson and I, our oldest, who's 15, Jackson and I, we step in and roast whenever we need to. Ben's on the fire department here in Abilene, and so he's not available every day, mm -hmm. and we get orders every day. And so we're all trained on the roaster, but when we're all here, and it's like working as a well oil machine, um, Ben's on the roaster, Lincoln, our 10-year-old, does all the labeling, Jackson's bagging, you know, and shipping. I'm working on invoicing, stuff like that, and just kind of stepping in where needed. And so everybody kind of has their role when we're all up here together. I love that. Yeah, like it's the a lot family of fun. owned business. Um, tell us a little about, we were all wondering, we just had a taste testing here, which is another really cool thing that I think yes. they do um, in house blends and all that fun stuff. How long does it take to roast the coffee bean usually? Yeah, so it depends on if you're wanting a light, medium, or dark roast. Um, for all of our coffees, it ranges anywhere from like eight minutes to 16 minutes. Okay. Um, and it just depends on what kind of bean. For example, um, the origin of the bean matters. So like an, a bean from Ethiopia may take longer or less time to roast than from Costa Rica. So there's just a lot of different elements that play into the timing of it. So we are wondering a little bit about your coffee tips. So do you have any of your favorite coffee, like how you like to make it? I know you like pour overs. Right. Or is there just something that the rest of us might be missing on how to make a good yeah. cup of coffee? Yeah, so what you guys just experienced was a pour over tasting. That's usually how we get people to choose what their favorite blends, it, blends are or origins that they like. Um, if you do a pour over, that's where you're gonna get the most flavor. It's a coarser ground. And so um, it just, you know, the hot water sits and soaks, those grounds soak in the, soak in the hot water. And so as it seeps through, um, you're gonna get that bolder flavor. Um, we do have a lot of customers that have a Keurig machine at home and that's totally fine. We actually sell, yeah, <laughs> we actually sell the K-cup converters on our website. Um, those are great. You do need a more fine ground to, to make a good cup of coffee with our coffee in that. But, um, you know, convenience is everything. We get it. And so that is why we have that available. But pour overs are our personal favorite and what we do a lot around here. Gotcha, gotcha. So how much do you produce, say about a week of production of coffee? We produce, as far as um, roasting and shipping out or delivering locally, um, upwards of three to 400 pounds right now. Goodness yeah. Goodness. That's awesome. It's a good problem to have. We've kind of outgrown this space. I know you guys can't see <laughs> where we're at, but um, we've kind of outgrown this already. We're having some really good growing pains, and so mm -hmm. it's been really fun. Yeah. Speaking of growing, um, one of the things we like to talk about on Follow Me Friday is what your view or what you want to do for the community as far as impacting people. It's yes. coffee, but what do you hope your message is to people by giving them coffee yeah. and you know spreading that around. It's so much more than coffee for mm -hmm. us. Um, like I said, Ben is on the fire department here in Abilene and one of our goals, um, we're still a very young company, we're only about a year and a half old, but one of our goals is to really start some, put into process some new, uh, whether it be by way of like a new foundation or a nonprofit, but really give back to the first responder community. Mm -hmm. um, not just because we are one, <laughs> but also because we, in any of us, any, to any point in our life, we've needed some kind of care, whether it be, and I'm not talking about just medical first responders, 
I'm also talking about the teachers and I'm talking about the missionaries that go into the world preaching the gospel. Like all first responders, we want to support them in different ways. Mm -hmm. And so we have a few things in the works where we're trying to um, get some guidance from people that have done these kinds of things before us as far as how to set those up. But that's really our main goal. Um, and then the cliche one is we just want everybody to come together in community <laughs> over a good cup of coffee. Yeah. And that's yep. just the truth. So yeah. No, it's the best it way brings I think good to bring things the community to life. together. Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. We all love a good cup of coffee. That's right. <laughs> I'm curious and I'm sure many other people are curious. So how does the process work from here in the warehouse in the temporary building because you're outgrowing yeah. it to our homes, how does that all work? Where do you get the coffee? How do you do it? Yeah. I, I don't know. So, you know, when Ben first started, um, as a hobby, like roasting his own bean in all these creative ways, um, you know, he would just order a pound of green beans off Amazon, right? Yes. So we've come a long Amazon. way. Um, the broker, the coffee broker that we use, they actually only source beans from sustainably sourced farms, mm -hmm. um, which for us what that means is this particular company, they have, they take these Americans who um, can help these people, these farmers write business plans to then go into these farms, help them establish a business plan. There's so much child labor that's over there that we don't realize mm -hmm. um, these kids aren't in school. And so this company goes over and um, they put boots, American boots on the ground over there and they help them establish a business plan, redo some things and build schools. So they're building schools, the kids go to school, get an education and come back and they, they're integrated back into the family, you know, farming business. And um, so, I mean, that's just another thing that every bag of coffee you buy, it does support that. Mm -hmm. So once we get the beans, um, we get all, we import all the green beans here by boxes and boxes. We get pallets of them. Um, and green beans don't have the best smell. Like it kind of smells like dirt, like where they grew, like there's nothing really special to them. Mm -hmm. um, definitely wouldn't taste good if you were to try to eat one. Um, so we get the green beans and then we wheel them over to the roaster and we, we do, they come in 65 pound boxes and we probably do about 15 pounds at a time in the roaster. And so um, through that process of like, you know, I was saying earlier that it takes anywhere from nine to 16 minutes, depending on the origin. So we're a handcrafted roastery. And what that means is nothing here is automated. So when Ben or the roaster sits down um, and the beans are going in the drum, He's sitting there adjusting the temperature, the airflow, everything, different points of the roast. And that's what helps bring out the flavor, decides if it's gonna be a light, medium, dark roast, those kinds of things. And so um, that gets your roast. And then once it comes out of the roaster, we cool it and then we bring it over to the assembly line and some orders come in that want whole bean, which is our favorite because it keeps it fresh longer. Mm -hmm. um, other people want ground, which is totally cool. And so we have a grinding machine. Um, we'll grind the bags, um, grind the coffee, and then bag it, label it, send it on down, you know, the assembly line, and then we ship right now anywhere in the United States. Awesome. And so we ship every day, FedEx. That's true. Yeah. That's what everybody's thinking when they're watching this is like, can we get it where we That's are right. right now? Yes. Okay, so for here in Abilene, where can you, as of right now, get different Moose Mountain coffee blends? Yeah, so the only place here in Abilene that sells all of our different coffees is gonna be Circle H Meat Market. It's on East South 11th. Um, if you want something that's a little bit more local and special, we have several different businesses that have done private blends. Mm -hmm. For example, The Shed, the yes. only place you can get is at The Shed, and it's amazing. <laughs> um, also, uh, Life of Pi has two blends that they do. Um, and so we have people like that that are, that are starting to do their own private blends to where they come in and anything you purchase from them, it's something them and their team have chosen. That is and what so. I think is so cool. When we came to taste test, the first thing they told us was like, this is specifically for y'all. And right. so the time, it just shows the time they've taken in each specific blend to make it unique, which yeah. I think is really cool. And it make, it's really cool to be able to offer that as a business to your customers mm -hmm. because it's kind of an extension of hospitality and like mm -hmm. we put a lot of thought into this, you yes. know, it's not just us roasting it, it's you guys coming and sitting down and going through the process of like what tastes good and what kind of sums up our favorite coffee. So and we loved it's it. neat. It was so much fun. Yeah. And that wraps up this Follow Me Friday. Um, we loved coming to Moose Mountain Coffee and we want to thank you for having us. You're and welcome. Um, letting us crazy people have coffee today. So yeah. thank you. Y'all come back sometime. Yeah. When your home needs to sell, pick the price, pick the day, pick the coffee.